thank you, my friend. We have to t take the opportunity to show our affection when we can. None of us will live forever. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. I shall attend to it in a trice. The woods instill a sense of peace in me. What is it this time? Perhaps this group needs not quite as much help yes. as I thought. I shall attend to it in a trice. Crusade's recent presence can be seen on the road to Dragonspear Castle, but the Shining Lady's actual servants are rarely encountered. The few Crusaders you spy in the distance invariably retreat at the first opportunity. As the march wears on, fatigue grips your company, tempers flare within the caravan. Your reputation as the hero of Baldur's Gate protects you from petty squabbles and angry outbursts, or perhaps, after what happened on Boriskir Bridge, there is another reason few are willing to cross you. These thoughts are put aside when you see the banners of Waterdeep, Daggerford, and the Flaming Fist at the edge of the Coalition siege camp. Dragonspear Castle is near, and so is Kalar's Day of Reckoning. does he still refuse me? How can he deny the righteousness of our cause? We speak of a child of Baal. And yet the Baal spawn is the hero of Baldur's Gate, and by all accounts saved the Sword Coast from ruin during the Iron Crisis. You cannot ask me to show mercy to this abomination, not after what happened to my brother. For the good of the Crusade, you must. We cannot take the Baal spawn's life. Forgive me, my lady. I do not know if I can do that. You can. I have faith in you, Ashatil. For us, forgiveness must prevail over revenge. You have but to ask. What is it this time? Captain Corwin, good to see you. And you, Marshal Netterlock. And this must be the so-called hero of Baldur's Gate I've heard so much about.
I'm afraid you'll not find a warm reception here. Word of what happened at Boris Gear Bridge is getting around. Many, too many, see you as Saravok's heir apparent. If anyone gives you trouble, report it to me. I'll take care of it. Go get settled in now. When you're ready, come see me and the other commanders at the large tent south of here. We'll do that. Thank you, sir. I shall attend to it in a trust. Lots of work to do. What a bunch of pathetic babies! I've never seen a worse lot in my entire career! You're the hero of Baldur's Gate. Why not? Come talk to me when you finish drilling them and we'll see how you did. Dismissed. You are welcome in my sight. Day for meeting new friends. Fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Troubled times are upon us. You are welcome, in my sight.
may you know the happiness of a warm heart and home. What a bunch of pathetic babies! I've never seen a worse lot- Incredible. I didn't think it was possible to whip that ragtag unit into shape, but you've done it. These louts might actually have my back in battle thanks to you. Here, take this. I don't need it, and you might. Still we wait. It shall be as you wish. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Soon to go back to the grotto, I am. How may I be of you have but to ask? as best I can. Let's see now. The Red Knight's worshippers play many games. Here, I have a board for Coroner, a game the elves invented. Challenge the priest, get him to wager his holy symbol. What? What is it this you have but to ask? How may I be of service? Little. She's said to be an inspiring leader. Many flock to her cause and serve her fiercely. Some claim her the daughter of a god. Others believe she possesses a divine heritage but generations removed, an Asimar. You gutless worm, what gives you the right to tell me what to do with my men? You mean your 50 men? Why, my 350 men, of course. A tenth of Dagraford's population, Delancey. One in ten. That's what I've brought to this effort. And it is appreciated. But Baldur's Gate, and especially Waterdeep, have provided the majority of troops here. I'll not risk them needlessly. And who, pray tell, are you? General Hather Stonehand, Torsen Cedric Delancey, Allow me to present the hero of Baldur's Gate. Oh, aye. 
So what was that business on Boris Gere Bridge about? You know how many of our people worship Lathander? Tempus? And you burn the dead lord of bloody murder ball symbol into the ground where he died. Great, that's sure to boost morale. Hey there, please. Show a little decorum. The reinforcements you've brought are a welcome and much needed asset. Your presence is problematic. Many are disturbed by tales of Boriskia Bridge. It would be best if you were away from the camp for a time. A highly successful one. A leader must support their troops if they want their troops to support them. Everyone has a part to play here. The hero vanquished Saravak. If they can do the same to Kalar, it's to everyone's advantage. If we've any hope of defeating the Crusade, troop morale must be maintained. Your presence works against that. As it happens, there's a matter that requires attention away from here. Word has gotten round that Kalar's forces are receiving supplies via caverns beneath Dragonspear Castle. We have a rough idea where the entrance is, beyond Dead Man's Pass, as the locals like to call it. That's assuming the information we have is accurate. Torture usually gets you answers, but it doesn't always get you the truth. I'd stoop lower than that if it meant saving the life of a single soldier under my command. We have reason to believe Kalar Argent's top advisor, a priest named Heffernan, is quartered in Dragonspear's basement. We know very little of Heffernan, other than he apparently has Kalar's ear. We do know that a series of caverns runs beneath the castle. We believe Kalar is channeling supplies through the tunnels rather than attempting to break our perimeter. So there is a way into the castle from below. That is what needs doing. Will you do it? Just so we're clear, our resources are limited and our focus must be on containing the castle. If you should get into trouble outside this camp, you'll be on your own. We simply don't have the personnel for a rescue party, no matter how valuable the person captured may be. Before you leave, there's a tent near the camp entrance that belongs to a dwarf named Fossy Dug Deep. Go see her. She's been working on something you might find useful as you explore the underground river beneath Dragonspear. We'll do that. Thank you, sir. What dangers will this day yes. bring? Under normal circumstances, I would never say this, but I could use some help. In the last couple of days, I uh, dipped my fingers into a few pockets. One held a bag of junk and this notebook. It contains details of the camp defenses, commander names, and bits of conversation. Only a spy would make these kind of notes. That's the problem. While I was working, I wasn't paying attention to faces. It could have come from a few different people. There was the notebook, of course. A potion, a candle, and this sheet of paper covered in runes of some sort. Do I look like an alchemist to you? It might be a healing potion, but it's in a weird bottle. Maybe the trader purchased it in camp. There was the notebook, of course. It's not your average tallow stick. Gold leaf is pressed into the side, and it's quite heavy. There's nothing else special about it. Maybe a priest could tell us more. There was the notebook, of course. A potion, a candle, and this... It looks like the page was torn out of a book. I can make no sense of the runes. All I know is it came from someone's pocket. 
Don't let me down. You have but to ask. How may I be of assistance? I shall attend to it in a trice. Ah, good to see you. The daughter of Grand Duke Silvershield journeyed with the Flaming Fist from Baldur's Gate, yes? Do you know where I might find her? If you see her, tell her to seek me out, please. It was one thing to torment her on the journey here, but if she were killed or fell into enemy hands, Duke Silvershield would be displeased. What is it this time? You have but to ask. Few, but fierce. The underground seems safer by far, and gems to find are welcome too. Oh! Who goes there? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> a little drink yesterday evening turned into a lot of drinks early this morning. I'm, uh... I'm not in the best shape right now. Aye, but I don't want to waste your time with my sorrows. I, I know you're an important person. It's... Ah, this is gonna sound so, so... Ah, hells. It's me lucky charm. A pebble from Mithril Hall. I lost it somewhere on the march here. Oh, I've had the most terrible luck since I realized it was gone. I lost at cards. Spilled a full mug of ale in my beard. Probably die in battle now, the way things are going. It's just so... Wait. The other thing that went my patron god is Martha Marduin. His symbol is a boot with a mace against it. Maybe if I get some fancy new boots, my luck will change back. I'm telling you, this'll do it. I just need some good leather, and then maybe that quartermaster, Belagarm, will order some made for me. Could you help me out? I heard a bear's been sighted around Dead Man's Pass, but I can't leave my post. Bring the bear's hide to Belagarm and get me some new boots. I know you're an important person with lots of things to do, but... Thank the gods. Steady on, Corporal. What's the problem? It's Ski Silvershield. She's left the camp. She was last seen heading towards Dragonspear Castle. Alone. Bring her back safely. If the Crusade takes his daughter, Entar Silvershield will have all of our heads. And you're certain it's stable? Ah, glad you came. This is Fosse Dugdeep. Fosse, tell them about the potion of explosion barrel.
When you're inside the caverns, consult this amulet each time you come to an intersection. It will guide you to the best placement for the barrel. Now, Fosse, would you please excuse us? The explosives are just one strategy I've formulated to undermine our enemy. I've another that you might help with. These flasks contain poison taken from a priestess of Talona we captured and interrogated. Her evil works can now be turned to the greater good. We know Dragon Spear is being supplied via the caverns you'll be visiting shortly, if all goes as planned. If you put a few drops of this in the enemy food supplies and water, we would have an edge when we finally confront the Shining Lady. Do this, and you'll be more than adequately rewarded, I assure you. You are doing the Sword Coast a great service. May fortune smile upon you in your mission. Farewell. What a bunch of pathetic baby! Let me take a look. Nah, no, this isn't mine. Looks like it could be a page from the cipher book of Warden Two-Edged. Have you asked her? Light and warmth. I'm glad for both. I welcome you with outstretched hands. the way things are going here. How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. Still we wait. Help me. Help me. Still we wait. You are more than welcome in my sight.
Did you need something, young one? Consulting on tactical movements and troop deployments. I've been retired for years, but my mind's still sharp. You're the one everyone's talking about. The hero of Baldur's Gate. You've seen many battles. What do you think of war? Why don't you talk to some of the people in the camp? Find out why they're here, what they're fighting for. Then come tell me if you've learned anything. Did you need something, young How? Where did you get this? Answer me. That is from a code book used to translate military ciphers. You shouldn't be seeing it. Return it at once. Very well. I will believe you. Do not make me regret it. I loaned that book to one of Nederlock's lieutenants, a man named Malden Call. are fine, but she's what I really have trouble being away from. Lots of work to do. Oh! Who goes there? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> a little drink yesterday evening turned into a lot of drinks early this morning. I'm, uh... I hope Roman knows my heart is always with her. But she's still a child. You don't know that, and even if you did, it's not your decision to make. Just let it go, Pritchard. Like it or not, we aren't the ones who get to make the call. Pritchard, this is the hero of Baldur's Gate. Oh, right. You're the one who had the incident crossing Boris gear. How do you almost know my name? The hells you will. I'll deal with this. And you, stop making mischief, you hear me? We've got enough problems here without you making more of them. But you did good bringing this to my attention. And now I've got someone I can hit in good conscience. Here, take this as thanks. Well, look who we have here. The hero of Baldur's Gate deigns to walk among us. Aren't you supposed to be spelunking in Kaylor's caverns? Now that you mention it, I do have a bug in my boot about something. I've heard rumors of a thieves' guild forming in camp. Small at the moment. I'd like to make it smaller still. You always get some leeches in camps, but this one's had more than its share. Some of my men say they've been asked to steal from dead soldiers and pawn their scavengings through a black market. I won't have that sort of business going on here. You're new here, so the guild probably hasn't gotten to you yet. You may be a black-hearted villain, but people see you're here to help. Can you take care of this? Start with a merchant named Wizob. I've heard she'd sell the coppers right off your granny's dead eyes. I may be a dwarf, but I'm no skinflint. How does 500 gold pieces sound? Start with a merchant named Wizob. I've heard she'd sell the coppers right off your granny's dead eyes. 
Well, don't go announcing your mission to the whole camp. Keep it under your hood, eh? Now, get moving. You're a fierce warrior, no doubt, and Tempus is the god of warriors. I believe you. You'd not stoop to theft. The other night I saw Malton Call leaving my tent. I chased him, but he got away. I'm sure he took the candle, but I can prove nothing. I didn't report it. I plan to speak to Call about it myself. With my fists. I have many fine wares. last night. How did you get it? Can't say. It's bad luck to talk about your losses, and I have another game tonight. I suppose telling can't do any real harm. It was Cole who won the bottle. Good luck on your mission, but don't take any of my luck. <laughs> what is it this day? It shall be as you wish.
Your acquaintance I am glad to have made. Time for small talk. Good to see you. We have a spy among us? Do you know Malden Call? I knew him well. well. I thought I did. We have to tighten our security. No one can be trusted anymore, not even our own forces. A team like this can't be beat. This group needs not quite as much help as I thought. You know, we're doing pretty good, Adoy. No, shut up. Thanks. Our army is the best. Still, we wait. We walk the path of heroes. You! You there! I am You pleased. look moneyed and in dire need of Wilhelmina's- Wait! I actually need some turnip juice. Up juice. Don't forget to tell your friends. An excellent day for whatever you're after. Thank you. 
we have here? The hero of Baldur. That's the way to get things done. Tell me, what did their faces look like? Good work. We'll put those jackals to good use in the battle. March them up front, eh? Here's something extra for doing such a good job. Now, what's the price we agreed on? 300 gold, was it? You're not half bad, you know that? I'll admit, the militia can use every coin we can hoard. Daggerford hasn't got the coffers to match water deeps. Here you are, hero. Now, get moving. We've got a war to win. We'll show the crusade, right? We're more than mercenaries. Perhaps this group needs not quite as much help as I thought. Speak! How can the Lion of Luskin be of service to you at this time? I much prefer wooded regions, but one must be flexible in these times. Still we wait. You are welcome in my sight. What a bunch of pathetic babies! Battle needs to be fought. I'm a soldier. What more is there to it? Why we fight is as important as how we fight. Sometimes... It is even more important. You know what commanders do? They move wooden soldiers around on maps. Vigilance? We talk to the troops. We secure provisions and monitor morale. We keep soldiers alive. You know what commanders do? They move wooden soldiers around on maps. Vigilance? We talk to the troops. We secure provisions and monitor morale. We keep soldiers alive. An army marches on its stomach. Sorry. <laughs> a little drink yesterday evening turned into a lot of drinks early this morning. I'm uh... soon to go back to the grotto. I am. I miss the tunnels of home. How may I be? Of... I shall attend to it in a trot. What is it this? It shall be as you wish. Well, look who we have here. Nederlock's good people. Won't say a word against him. Delancey? That's another story. He's a 
coward. I hate to say it, but there it is. We could have. We should have taken Dragon Spear when we first arrived. Red Blood and Kaler was out in the High Moor then doing God's know what. The castle would have fallen faster than a house of cards. Well, he's had us twiddling our thumbs for weeks. First, he wants to thoroughly reconnoitre the castle. Then, wait for further troops. Then, the hero of Baldur's Gate has to be here before we can do anything. Now, he wants to hold till you finish your business in the caverns. As you say, I'll leave you to your business then. Watch your back. See you. Without ye bother on me. Did you need something, young one? I'm glad you took my request seriously. Finding out about your allies helps you understand them. It might also help you understand yourself. Here, take this old medal of mine. I had it enchanted at one point. You'll have more use for it than I, I am certain. Yes? How may I be of you have but to ask? Huh? Doing? What is it this time? Distract me! Yes?